What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, we got some breaking news as two time Olympic gold medalist, three division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer, Vasil High Tech Lomachenko, who is 16 wins, two losses, no draws, 11 wins by way of knockout, 34 years of age, 5 foot 6 with a 66 inch arm reach has touched back down in the United States. We know Vasil Lomachenko, he was 10 toes down in the Ukraine, dealing with the unfortunate circumstances and situation dealing with Ukraine and Russia. And he has last been seen in the ring in December when he took on former world champion, lightweight IBF world champion, Richard Comey. And he beat Richard Comey, dropping him and winning a unanimous decision. That's the last time we saw Vasil Lomachenko in the ring. Uh, Vasil Lomachenko had been over in the Ukraine, as I stated, and now we know that uh, Igis Klimas, his uh, manager, had told legendary promoter, top-ranked CEO Bob Arum, that he was uh, ready to make his ring return in October. Now Lomachenko, obviously, he had been linked to uh, undefeated, undisputed lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney, who is 21, 28 wins, no loss, no draw, 15 wins by way of knockout. He's 23 years of age, five foot uh, nine and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. Uh, he's undisputed. He defeated former unified lightweight world champion, Australian star boxer George Cambosis Jr. Uh, via unanimous decision June 4th here in the States, June 5th in Australia. And George Cambosis, he had defeated former unified lightweight world champion, superstar boxer Tiafimo Lopez. Uh, via split decision back in November, November 27th of 2021. And um, Teofimo Lopez, he had defeated Lomachenko uh, in a unification bout to become the unified champion. Okay, so with that said, uh, jo uh, Lomachenko, he came to 135 and he was seeking out, you know, uh, becoming undisputed at the lightweight glamour division. That's his whole uh, uh, point in going to the lightweight division. With that said, Lomachenko, now uh, he was spotted coming from the airport, uh, uh, you know, landing back in the States now and ready for preparation for this fight. And we know that Devin Haney, he has a, a rematch clause. He's going to face uh, um, George Cambosis in an immediate rematch, which looks like to be October 15th back in Australia. And Lomachenko is saying now, when asked about what's his plans, his plans is to fight Devin Haney, he said. His plans is to capture the undisputed titles and to fight Devin Haney, okay? Uh, we know Bob Arum, he stated that Lomachenko was going to need a tune-up fight in October to get some of the rust off. But Lomachenko saying that he wanted to go straight into a fight with uh, Devin Haney. But, you know, uh, obviously he just wants to get back in the ring and the goal is to become undisputed. So uh, Vasil Lomachenko has his sights set on a fight a fight with Devin Haney, okay? That's great news, okay? Now, again, like Bob Arum, he stated that, you know, um, Lomachenko will be back in uh, October. And then Bob Arum, he stated that uh, Devin Haney signed a three-fight deal that's going to see him, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, fight possibly Lomachenko uh, in the third fight. So this would be the second fight, you know, for um, Lomachenko. I mean, excuse me, for Devin Haney. Uh, this fight against George Cambosis Jr. And then the third fight is going to be Lomachenko should both guys be successful with Devin Haney and Lomachenko, okay? Uh, the problem obviously is, you know, um, so Lomachenko, he landed in Los Angeles, California, you know, uh, uh, and he plans to, you know, um, uh, pursue, you know, uh, um, a fight with Devin Haney. But again, uh, this is the circumstances. Devin Haney has to beat Cambosis. Lomachenko has to win this fight. Uh, now, the thing is that Devin Haney already expressed that he has, you know, uh, you know, uh, trouble. You know, uh, it's not easy making 135 pounds. He's growing. He's big. He's strong. He's young. And it's not easy making 135 pounds. So, you know, uh, I felt like Lomachenko may have been looking at the situation and saying, well, you know, uh, it gives him advantage. If, if he waits, he fights somebody else in October and fight Devin Haney uh, uh, early 2023. Okay. Uh, so here's what Lomachenko had to say, quote, I pray every day for Ukraine, for the people and, and stop what's going on. When I came back to Ukraine, I believe it was the second day of uh, your mind changes because you see uh, different uh, everything in life different. It's a different life. Nobody knows what happened on the on this day. It's very bad. It's very bad for the world. Lomachenko said, I prepared for a moment 
and I need this uh, this chance. I need this fight, undisputed, undisputed world champion. I need this fight with Devin Haney. So uh, um, Lomachenko is saying that he needs this fight with Devin Haney. He needs to become undisputed. Okay, uh, um, end quote. So you know uh, this is a big fight. Okay, uh, it's a legacy fight for both guys. Now Lomachenko, uh, I believe, is already a Hall of Famer right now, currently as it stands. Uh, when it comes to Devin Haney, I believe that um, becoming undisputed, the first four major sanction belt, lightweight, undisputed world champion, ring magazine, a lineal champion in the history of the sport of boxing is uh, uh, groundbreaking, right? That's a, that's a legacy accomplishment in itself. But to beat a guy in a, um, with the accomplishments in the, in the mold of a, a Lomachenko, you know, uh, just speaks volumes, okay? It, it did wonders for Tiafimo Lopez and Tiafimo Lopez's career. Uh, and now it's going to speak wonders for Devin Haney. Should Devin Haney get and win this fight? Uh, for Lomachenko, though, to become an undisputed lightweight champion, it just all but cements his uh, career and his legacy and his uh, entrance into the Hall of Fame. First ballot Hall of Famer, okay? Uh, and so with that said, uh, this is a huge opportunity for both guys. Lomachenko uh, and Devin Haney have been at odds for quite some time. Lomachenko, when he beat uh, uh, Olympic gold medalist, British uh, British lightweight title contender star boxer Luke Campbell for the vacant WBC title. Uh, Devin Haney had been vying for an opportunity to fight Lomachenko at that point. Uh, it didn't happen. Lomachenko stated that he wanted to have uh, um, uh, a stay busy fight. That was August um, of 2019, I believe, and 2019-2020. Uh, uh, and uh, he stated he wanted a tune-up fight and uh, a stay busy fight. So he was waiting for the fight that happened between uh, um, Teofimo Lopez and Richard Coleman it was December of that year, okay? Uh, they was the co-main event on the undercard of Terrence Crawford, Igas Kavalaskis fight, and Teofimo Lopez, he brutally knocked out uh, Richard Coleman in the second round of the fight to become the champion, and then uh, they fought in the unification about later the next year. So with that said, you know, um, Devin Haney has been looking and seeking and uh, aggressively pursuing Vasil Lomachenko for quite some time. Uh, Devin Haney has a very high ring IQ. Uh, he completely outclassed and shut out and dominated George Cambosis in Australia in his backyard. Complete dominance, okay? Uh, One-sided uh, pitch the shutout. One-sided uh, fight. Uh, it wasn't to the point where if you wasn't a fan of Devin Haney or just a fan of the sport of boxing and you was just a hardcore fan of Cambosis, uh, it wasn't entertaining, right? He completely quieted the crowd. Uh, he completely shut out uh, uh, George Cambosis, and he used a uh, vanilla game plan. He just used his jab. He used control the distance, the pace of the fight, and the range. Uh, every now and then, he used the uppercut and the straight right hand just to keep George Cambosis at bay, and he dominated every single round, okay? Uh, Lomachenko's a different, completely different uh, um, hill to climb than George Cambosis, um, but he's even smaller than Cambosis, right? Devin Haney looked extremely big. Compared to Cambosis, who's five foot nine with a sixty-eight inch arm reach, um, Lomachenko is five foot six with a sixty-six inch arm reach. So uh, Devin Haney has, you know, um, a three and a half inch height advantage over uh, Lomachenko, and he has uh, um, a six inch arm reach advantage over Lomachenko. Uh, he's quicker, you know. He's eleven years younger than Lomachenko. Quicker, uh, very fast feet, very fast hands, high ring IQ. And very slick, okay? Uh, so Lomachenko, though, is a southpaw. Very high ring IQ. Uh, you know, um, very great angles he uses. Great footwork. Uh, uh, great accuracy and timing, okay? Devin Haney has great timing. So it's going to be a high-speed chess match between Lomachenko and Devin Haney for sure, okay? Uh, so this is going to be, again, an epic fight. This is going to be a master class boxing uh uh you know on display okay uh is there going to be knockdowns knockouts i don't know if it's going to be that type of fight but it's definitely going to be a chess match in the mold of i believe floyd Mayweather when he took on uh um zab judah right it's going to look like that type of fight okay uh, a high speed chess match right and um it's going to be epic when it does happen and so lomachenko's letting it be known that that's his plan that's his goal I don't know who Lomachenko is going to fight. You know, he fought Nakatani, then he beat uh, Richard Comey, those two back-to-back -back fights. I uh, don't know who he's going to fight in October. Um, but uh, I do know Lomachenko wants to fight the absolute best. 
uh, there is the offer. And now Devin Haney has everything he's looking for. So this is going to be epic. Can't wait. So Lomachenko lets it be known. His uh, uh, his goal and his plan is to fight Devin Haney. Devin Haney, we know, been vying for that option. Devin Haney, he took the social media when Bob Arum said uh, he needs a tune-up and that you know he'll see Devin Haney next. And Devin Haney said, uh, uh, I'm the champion. I don't have to wait on nobody, period. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All in one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.